hours and in this video I'm going to do my everyday makeup routine so if you're interested in that please keep watching okay so this has been a highly requested video and it has taken me some time <laughs> to build up um, the uh, just courage to come on camera like totally barefaced and I'm here now, so let's get into it. I'm, I'm gonna have to look at my mirror this way a couple of times, but I'm gonna try to talk to you guys this way. So, I mean, um, let's get into it. I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. So let's get into and it. I'm gonna be talking a little bit because that's what I do sometimes when I get nervous. And this is very intense. It's a very hard thing to be on here, just completely barefaced. But I hear you guys. I love all your comments and I appreciate you guys requesting um, my everyday makeup routine. And I know when I was first getting into makeup, I really wish somebody would just show me a non-guru makeup routine that I could actually apply to my everyday life. And so I'm hoping that that's what this video is for you guys. Mm -hmm. To kick the video off in terms of my makeup routine, the first step to my makeup routine, and I apply this like every day, probably like eight times a day, is water and I know you guys probably wanted me to talk about something else but the truth of the matter is I think the reason why my makeup looks as good as it does is because I only drink things that show up really well on my face and like what I mean by that is like I don't drink dairy and if I am gonna have dairy I won't have dairy before like an event or knowing that I need to be on camera because my experience is if I consume any dairy butter milk ice cream the next day my whole face is poofy I have white heads it just it literally comes out on my face ne like nearly immediately so that's one of the reasons why I cut dairy out um but water keeps me hydrated and water just shows up on my skin really really beautifully that is the first step in my makeup routine is just hydrating myself with water step number two is primer um and the primer that I'm using right now I feel like a makeup person <laughs> is Bare Minerals Good Hydration. I finally figured out that my face needed to be hydrated as opposed to needing to be moisturized and I'll talk a little bit more about that in my skincare video. So when I was searching for primers, um, I focus on the primers that are hydrating and they're not like primers that are like silicone based or designed to fill in like texture and stuff because even though I have imperfections, I don't have um, acne or acne scarring so I don't need something that fills in texture as and rather I need something that just gives me a really nice canvas and I find that hydrating primers do that and I also like that um, this is a pretty like um, what is it fragrant free uh, you know all natural sort of a thing I try to put zero fragrance on my face because it just really destroys my face but anywho I spread that all out and I feel like I did not get enough there and that could just be because I'm not looking in the mirror. Give me a minute. Hold on. I'm going to get this on here the right way that I would do it. So it's looking at my viewfinder. Um, I put it all over my face. Um, I make it a point to put it in my, like, cheek, nose area. Not because I get shiny or anything there, but because I feel like that's the place where I have the most makeup in terms of foundation and concealer and, what, and blush. And so I like the layer between my makeup and my face to just be like really there like I I don't know what that's called but I just want the the this to me is like yes it, it helps to make my makeup better but it, I feel like it also keeps my skin really healthy and really hydrated so I just usually put a little bit more here just because I know that I'm putting a lot more makeup in that area than any other area after I have primed is I apply my foundation and the foundation that is my go-to foundation right now is Maybelline's Fit Me 360 in Mocha. I'm super excited that I found this drugstore foundation because foundation can be very, very expensive. And it's amazing that I can use this every day. It's lightweight and it's really inexpensive to replace. Before this, I was using like all high-end products, but every single video that you guys have seen from me this year is has been this makeup. So when my budget increases, I'll show you guys my high-end um, products. But I just take this and I shake it up. And this is in the dewy smooth so it's not the matte finish um, it's the creamier one so I shake it all up and then I put a little bit on the back of my hand and uh, just just a little bit not very much I put a little bit on the back of my hand and then I take my index finger and then I put it in a little bit on my forehead I put a little oops I put a little here a little here <laughs> A little on my chin oh my god I don't know how they do this this is so hard and just a little here and I actually may have pulled 
grab just a little too much. I really don't like a lot. So if you guys see, those are just very, very light dabs. And I have still some on my hand because I don't really like full coverage. I like for my makeup to almost look like it's just my skin. So then after I do that, I take, um, this is just a Real Techniques foundation brush. And I blend it in. And when I blend it, I actually blend it um, towards this way. What is that, down? I don't, I, I just blend, you guys can see how I blend it. I blend it towards my ear, towards my neck, down my chin. Um, and I kind of just do the parameter. Like if you notice, I'm not really going in and under here because I know I'm going to come there with concealer. And I just like for my skin, to, my makeup to look like it's just my skin. And I feel like when I do concealer, when I do foundation and then concealer on top, it just gets really, really thick. Then I come down my nose a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I got a little bit, um, kind of got a lot there on my forehead. So I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. And I just blend it like right into my hairline. And then after I get the perimeter and everything really blended out. And I mean, I really just like go to town when I'm doing this. After I get the perimeter and everything blended out, then I'll go back in and just sweep my eye, sweep under my eye. And it's not really a lot of makeup uh, product left on there, but it just gives me a nice all over tone. But you guys see, I have a little bit too much on my forehead for my comfort. Like if I wanted a fuller coverage look, I would leave it, but I'm going to try to get some of that off by just continuing to blend and stipple. So this is my foundation. I'll come, I don't know if you guys can see that if it looks better here, but you can kind of just see that it just evens out my tone all over, which um, then after I do my foundation, I do my concealer and my concealer is Hourglass in the color Almond. This is my all time favorite concealer, but as you can see, like it's literally... <laughs> There's nothing really in there, okay? I need some more. But this is more of like that high-end product that I told you guys. Like normally, this would be the level that I'm at. And the way my budget is set up, I'm not at that level. So I'm just going to try to use like the, the last little dip that I have in here. And when I apply this, I'm going to apply it first. So you guys can, and then I'll turn around. Um, I usually don't have to stroke this many times because I actually have makeup. But it's since it's, at, it's, since it's on its last leg, I have to stroke a little bit. To get that out um, all right so if you're looking at me I put it under my eyes and as much of a triangle as I can kind of going out to right there a little bit on my forehead I come right down my nose and put a little bit on my cupid's bow I don't put any on my chin um, because I have more of a pointy chin so I don't actually need to bring that out anymore I need to like I don't really know the whole makeup Thing, but I found that when I put it on my chin I didn't like I don't like the way that my overall face looks but when I just do it in this area I really like the way that my face looks so then after I apply my concealer and I'm not, I'm, I'm fairly light-handed this looks very heavy again because I'm just at the end of the tube um, and then I take that same real techniques brush and I just stipple it into my face um, so that way it's more so like placed there instead of like running I need to look in the mirror while I'm doing this instead of um running to other areas and this is really to just give me some dimension i think that's what concealer well to take care of like dark circles but i also think to just give me some dimension like lift up my face like i don't know if you guys can tell but like you know my face is starting to look a little bit more like hey girl hey <laughs> as opposed to good morning so yeah i'll just stipple this in and i kind of bring it out pretty broad like here because i'm not going to use a highlighter or anything like that because it's just my everyday routine yeah shout out to every single girl who does her makeup on camera because this right here is hard work this video is going to be like an hour long i i'm going to try to sh chop it down but it's actually really hard just so after i do my um concealer i then do my what is this contour yeah my contour um, and for contour, another drugstore product, this is the uh, Maybelline Fit Me 370 in Java Matte Poreless Foundation. And I've been using this as a contour. This was the first color that I purchased because I thought this was my color. So if you guys look at my channel and you see like a couple of videos where I'm like super dark, it's because I was using this as my foundation. And then I was educated on what my real color is. <laughs> so I changed it. So now I can use this as my contour. So then... Um, 
I shake this up first. It's all shaken up and this is just what it looks like without the contouring, which I totally could stop here, but I like the, the dimension or depth that the contouring gives. So I shake it up and then just with my index finger, I just dab like right there on the top. So not very much product and I just do um, the, what is this? The hollows of my cheeks. Um, I do right here and I mostly do this area because I um, my hair is short and I don't go to the barber right now and so I'm not getting a like a proper haircut and I like to have a little bit of dimension here I do a little bit on my forehead but if you can see like I apply that very very lightly because again the goal for me is for this to look as much like my skin as possible and I know um, a lot of people put this on they're like down here on their neck and stuff. I don't. I tried it a couple times and it mostly just ruined my shirt. And then I take that same Real Techniques brush and I um, go down. Um, I actually go down that way, but I was trying to show you guys. I'm sorry, I messed my bed up a little bit. Um, and I just go down just to make sure the hollows of my cheek is completely. So you see how like there's that mark there and it, well, you can't see it. Okay, but. I hope you guys can see that little mark there on the side and then I just buff this into my hairline and this just gives me a little bit more dimension around my face. Well, that turned out really pretty, didn't it? Okay, so you guys, <laughs> sorry, you guys are, it's weird. <laughs> this is so weird. Um, this is so weird. Oh my God. Okay, so now you can kind of see, I hope you guys can see, so you kind of see that there's a little bit more like color and like depth through my face. I hope you guys can see that. Maybe you can't see that. Maybe the camera isn't picking up on it. In my opinion, it looks a little bit more like skin because it's not one color. It's like these three different shades, like all sort of playing with each other right now. Next favorite part, which is I set it and I set it with the Laura Mercier finishing powder. Um, I really like Laura Mercy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, but I really like her products. Um, this is a translucent finishing, translucent loose setting powder. And I got this in a sample from Sephora and I fell in love and I just find whenever I wear it, like over my makeup, like everything just looks like beautiful and it just sets really, really well. So to set this, I take um, this very large Sephora brush. This is actually also my blush brush. So before I set it, I take this and then um, and I take a little bit of toilet tissue and I just dust that off a little bit just to get um, the pigmentation from the blush from the last time I used it off. So anyway, I dust that off a little bit and then I take this product just a very little bit in to the top like this. And this came with a little poof pushy thingy, but I just find that I like setting it with a brush better. I think it's just different strokes for different folks maybe, um, cause I just don't like a very heavy finish. And I set in the center here first and then I brush it around. So I literally like do like that. Um, that whole little section of my cheeks. Um, come around I'll do my chin I'll do my forehead with the rest of the product and then so it's kind of I don't know if you guys can see it's translucent so you probably can't see but there's still like a little bit of dust on there and then I just brush that very lightly through the rest of my face but most of the setting happens like under my eye right in my concealer maybe almost like I'm more so setting my concealer than anything else and I just use very soft strokes to take it all around my face. The next thing that I do is my cheeks and the blush that I use is Becca Dahlia. I've never actually looked at the, the color of it. It's Dahlia I think is what it's called. Um, I like it. I don't have any particular reason why. I went to the store and I tried on a lot of blushes and I had the people try on a lot of blush and this was the one that I liked the most. And I believe Becca products are the same sort of like non, like what is it? What is it called? Hyperallergenic, I think. Um, again, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but overall I like this product. So I take that same brush that I set with and I just, I literally dab like 
very very little you see how that's like brown on that side and more rouge on that side and then I turn my face to the side like this and I start back here in my hairline like this and I just I literally just dab like a little and you guys I don't know if you can see that on on your side but I can see it over here and so and I just brush it out bringing the rouge to the high high parts of my cheeks just to make my face same thing for the other side dab a very very little just to bring a little bit of color to my face not very much because I again I want it to look natural and I don't naturally look like I'm blushing all the time because I am a uh, chocolate colored person and then after that I just do a little bit on my nose and that not a little bit I take whatever is left on the br brush and just brush it past the tip of my nose if you guys notice I don't contour my nose um, so I just bring the little bit of color to my nose of what's whatever is left from those couple of blush pads um, and then the next part the next part are eyebrows and eyes so for my eyebrow technique which if you guys are interested I can do a separate eyebrow technique video um, I'm just gonna show you the products that I use and then I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm not gonna talk through it because it's I'm not going to talk through it because that's a lot of work. But I use um, this brush. I don't. I think this is an Anastasia brush. I don't know what the number is, but it's just basically has a spoolie and then it has a little uh, angle tip to it. And then I use the Anastasia pomade, dip brow pomade in ebony. Okay. So then I do my eyebrows. I think my eyebrows are done now. Um, everything looks so different in the, the viewfinder. That's why I like shout out to makeup people because I don't know how you guys do this, right? All right, so that's my eyebrows. Um, and yeah, if you guys want to see an eyebrow routine, just let me know. But just so you know, these are the only two products. Like I don't use like a concealer or anything like that. I just use this brush and the dip pomade. So after I do my eyebrows, um, I do my eyes. Use the Maybelline Ebony Black Define a Line. Oops. Um, define a line and I line the inside of my eye first. Um, and I don't know if you guys can see the difference in like so this eye is lined, this eye isn't, and it just gives it a little bit of a definition. <laughs> um, so first I line the inside, and I want to give it a minute. Then I do like a, what is it, a little tip on the end to give my eyes a little definition. I just hold my eye like that. I have a little beauty mark. Um, on the end of this eye so I always know if I did my tip right because it'll come right out to my little beauty mark and then I just repeat that process and um when I line my eyes I don't know if you guys let me see uh hold on I can't I don't know how to close wait I don't know how to close one of my eyes without straining it but when I do it I don't actually bring the product from the inside out I kind of go three-fourths of the way to the inside out um it's just the way that I like to wear my, my eye makeup. I use my uh, Great Lash Maybelline Mascara. And I just do my top lashes. You guys can see the difference between this eye and that eye with a little bit of mascara on it. And I usually do two coats, so I usually wait just a little bit before I go back over and do this one so I will do that I'm trying to give you guys some you can kind of see how that's a little bit separated up there and then that's it that is my everyday makeup routine and I know that that seemed like a lot but it honestly isn't it takes me about seven to ten minutes but it just it's talking through the process with you guys. I hope you guys like this everyday makeup routine. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please leave me a comment below letting me know specifically what you want to see, i.e. my eyebrows, etc. Um, yeah, just let me know and I will get that out to you. So I'll talk to you all. <laughs>
hardest video I've ever shot in my entire life. <laughs> I will talk to you all very soon. Part, this part where makeup gurus don't tell you that like you're trying to set up stuff. Hold on. Like you're trying to set up stuff and so like you have in order to make this happen. Why, why didn't a makeup guru tell me that you gotta... This is the most intense thing that I've ever done. I So many of you guys have requested and I have decided to do my everyday makeup routine. <laughs> Bare face. <laughs> Interested in that? Please keep watching. Okay, I forgot my whole intro. Alright, starting over. Alright, so my name is...